Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. That much, huh? Does Kenny know? I don't know. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that what guys why the fuck is there a bear trap out here it's okay we're not gonna hurt you don't listen to them ben please just let us go we're not a threat to you kid chill out we'll try to help you but you gotta shut the fuck up Lee, this is fucked up we've gotta help you please ben shut up my dad was special forces i know what i'm doing just see if you can get him out after that you can leave us or whatever i don't care Please! We gotta get him out of there! Oh god, thank you! Fine, but you gotta hurry! Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no! Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Damn it, this is bad. Really bad. You have Just to get, get him out. out. You have, have to! Please, oh, do something! Them. We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Please! Do you think you can get it open? This is bad. Really bad. Just get me out! Oh Please. my god! Oh, my blood is screaming! We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Come on, do something! Let's go! Let's go! go. No, no, no! 
try the trap again! Anything, please! Lee, it has to be now! Ah. Ah. Damn it, ah. shut up this fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go, now! Ah. He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall?
You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket, if you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. I need to keep my strength up, too. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall.
Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off, Carly! We don't want any trouble! Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Clementine, what do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. 
All right. Looks like we're going to a dairy. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Just how it was on the bus. Somehow, I ended up getting locked in one of the commissary storage closets. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pumping this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are home. they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they and you guys were keeping it There's all to yourself. Tell. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? 
I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. for the swing. All right. 
right. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Hi. 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 Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the market that folks were really pretty well armed. Oh, good. Been stockpiling. Fence huh? will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. 
Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. A little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Stuck in the dirt. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. Over there. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the road. You asshole! Give it the food. Where's our food, you asshole? Can't move these houses. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I Gonna have to move. Don't think I can't Where do you think you're going? Didn't deliver them out of range and now we're gonna make what no. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Did you really think you could fuck with us? Let's 
get out of here. You lucky son of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, 
It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Found it. See anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Just water. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing. Empty. like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Nothing but fuels. Shit. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
back. I don't need that. your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Don't... Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. She was about to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back! What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. 
Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Empty. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? 
You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee.
We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here.
glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Gas keeps the generators going, and the generators keep the fence going. Moving fast. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. you got in that back room look we have food here but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed when we catch something in the woods we skin it and dress it back there mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house so you see nothing to worry about Oh, 
Oh, Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse a mess. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Could use a shave. Gauze pads. Some kind of lotion. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. so much morphine for candles smart musty as hell I guess someone needed some first aid recently huh where's that cord going Ugh, what is this stuff looks like a bunch of medical waste in here IV tube saline what would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff said he was up here resting. Is that blood? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Don't eat that! Uh, huh? 
Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. It didn't have to be this way. You're eating human meat! That's crazy. What the hell? Oh, I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quiet. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? I'll kill you! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Come on, try yourself. Coward, Dad. Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. Chills are pretty sturdy. We could climb up, uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You think a fucking apocalypse gives you the right to chop people into Salt meat? Breaks. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Ah, door's too solid. Dad, this isn't helping! Red bastards. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh. Ah! <laughs> Easy! Ah! Oh, God. Dad? <laughs> no! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He 
stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up! Come on! You're right, Kitty. Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, no, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Let go of me! No! Please! No! 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 Touch me! Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. If the duck behind the air conditioner is big enough, we might have found our way out of here. Yeah? But I need something to loosen the screws. I got nothing. Shit. Hang tight. Maybe I can scrounge something. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? 
So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! Huh. He still carried his wallet. Others. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. You think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. We got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will.
God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. Dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Man, keep sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. I'm gonna say we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep. Not to kill. And the lead on the trail. <laughs> oh, I know, Mabel. This is Lee, my favorite focus. part. Where's too. Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. This fucker thinks this is a game. What should we do? Do you have a weapon? Yeah, good. We keep it simple. As soon as he passes us, we jump in from behind. See what he's doing now. can live. That crazy woman in the woods tried to warn me and I killed her! That bitch never got it! She almost fucked up our best deal! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! Do it then!
Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful.
Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katja managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Ah. 
How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes. I think so. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We've done enough damage already. What do you mean by that? Come on, Kenny. Between this and the meat locker, you know what it means. Fine. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, 
shit. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If Y'all thinking it, you're I'll safe? You. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. 